is beautiful. On any safari, you look for the water hole, they're a magnet for animals, and on a dinosaur safari, it's no different. And this must be the best chance for me to find evidence of the giant claw. The thing about water holes being a magnet for wildlife, the predators know that too. In Africa, lions wait for zebras coming to drink. This could be a Tarbosaurus coming down waiting for larger prey. So we have really got to watch our step here. Look what I found, a claw. I think it's a Therizinosaurus and there is a whole skeleton. Let's see what else I can find. Let's have a look. There we go. That's pretty heavy. Look at the size of it. I'm six foot two and it actually dwarfs me. And this is just the front leg. And to be truthful, I'm actually a little nervous about meeting a creature with claws like this. They must be for disemboweling prey. But the more I get closer to the mystery of Therizinosaurus, the more I get confused. Look at these. I found these amongst the bones. They're not the teeth of a meat eater. They're leaf shaped and serrated. That suggests they're designed for slicing through vegetation. And earlier, when I found the nest, there was also that herbivorous dung there. So I just don't know what's going on with this amazing creature. Velociraptors, and they're paying attention to us. Nigel. I've got an idea which may work. And this is a bicycle horn I bought from home, and let's see what happens. Just as I thought, velociraptors like most animals, they don't like loud noises. Are you okay? Do you, do you want a hand with yours? Can you hear that? There's a terrific kerfuffle, and I think it's by the lake. Starbosaurus, get down. Claws, there is in a saurus. <laughs>